Yo. Yo. That episode of Samurai Jack. I just got done watching the episode, and all I can say is, like, damn, man, like... <laughs> I seen... I seen TV shows do this before. I seen TV shows do this before, where they usually have, you know, this long journey of the main character finally, you know, getting to find love for the very first time, you know, in a very, very long time. And by the conclusion, as the two travel together, you know, by the conclusion, something goes awry in which they have to fight down each other, you know, and kill one another in order for one of them to at least progress, you know, and actually accomplish their certain objective. I've seen TV shows do this before, and, you know, I can kind of predict as to what is going to happen in the next episode of Samurai Jack, but just seeing, you know, how everything went about, I was just like, nah, man, nah, like, because I, and the inner fanboy just came out of me, because once you see that scene in which Aku lifts up the sword from Jack, when Jack drops down his sword, giving up all hope, and Aku picks it up, and is like, I finally now have it in my possession. The one thing that can kill me, I can easily get rid of. Nothing stands in my way. And you have Jack on the ground, just freaking demoralized. He just gave up, lost all hope. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to think. And also right next to him as well is apparently Ashi, who is actually a real daughter of Aku. I mean, we technically knew that already, but seeing how exactly her DNA is legitimately inside, or uh, Aku's DNA is legitimately inside of her like that's like damn now we know why exactly how she took on a flipping army you know and to see her take on her aku form let's just call it that like i'm like dude jack has to jack has to be forced to kill her if he can't kill her he can't stop aku and if he doesn't he's gonna get killed like either way Unless, you know, Aku comes up with some different type of method as to how he wants to torment Jack from this point on. I mean, Jack has already suffered enough. I doubt Aku would probably, you know, make Jack, you know, suffer more, honestly. I mean, honestly, let's just be honest here. We don't really need to go down that route again in which we just see endless suffering for Jack. I mean, sure, I can see Aku doing that, and I could probably also see the animation studio doing that as well, but at the same time, if we were to go to the endless suffering route, one, this would not really conclude the series in which we, the fans, want it to be concluded at, because I doubt that this will get another season. They said themselves that this is the last season of Samurai Jack. I do know that a new uh, TV series of Samurai Jack did get announced, though. I believe it was actually um, kind of like a prequel thing, a little side story of Jack's younger days or whatnot i believe that was announced but as far as like the main storyline this is pretty much the final season now i like like i said before i doubt we are gonna see you know endless suffering continue on and on and on with jack honestly i would be tired of that i'm pretty sure you would be tired of that i want to see a different you know ending to the series i want to see a different approach to it i don't want Jack to continue suffering, you know, we've already seen that through the beginning of the series of Samurai Jack. Sure, you know, it was, you know, touched upon a little bit different. It had a little bit of a different approach to it, a little lighter tone. However, it's still more or less the same concept of Jack suffering. And to see that continue on, I personally, the viewer, don't want to see that. I want to see something different. Either Jack dies or we get a bittersweet ending in which Jack does accomplish his objective of vanquishing Aku. However, in the process, most likely Ashi is going to die. And while I don't want that to happen, when it comes to stories like this and, you know, forms of literature that handle this sort of, you know, plot element that happens within the story, most of the time it is bittersweet. 
I mean, honestly, I can't just see them giving off a happy ending in which Jack, Ashi survive and end up going back to the past, live happily ever after, you know, and Aku is out of the picture. I doubt, and especially when it comes to everything wrapping up so quickly, and that brings up another question, how will this final episode, you know, wrap up quickly? Because honestly, the pacing in this episode felt, it didn't feel rushed, but it did feel like, to some extent, it was being forced, you know, as the for the final confrontation with Aku. At least that felt rushed to me, like Jack just, you know, walks into Aku's domain automatically, and then the fight ensues from there. However, the fight is not with Aku himself. So that brings up the question, how exactly will the final episode go down if all we're really going to see is Jack, you know, most likely fight off Ashi? How exactly is, you know, he going to end up fight off Aku when that was his main objective in the first place? Or will we see actually Aku end up getting defeated from Ashi? Now, hear me out. It's not going to be a one-on-one -on -one confrontation between Ashi and Aku. What I mean by this is that if by some reason if by somehow Jack ends up taking down Ashi you know pretty much taking away her life force will this counteract itself onto Waku because of the fact that Ashi technically holds the DNA of Aku within her blood technically you know how Aku uh, spread spreaded himself into seven different parts for the seven warriors of Aku. Six of them died by Jack's hands. If Jack kills the last one, which is Ashi, does that mean by killing all seven parts of Aku, technically, would Aku end up, you know, being killed off? You know, it, there, there's quite a quite a stretch there, but I mean, hey, you never know. It, it's something that we should take into consideration. I think it kind of makes sense. So very interesting indeed on how exactly the series is going to conclude from, you know, what we got in this cliffhanger, because honestly, like, it just felt like really, you know, forced, you know, in a way. It wasn't a bad episode by any means, and honestly, I really enjoyed it. It just seems as though, you know, getting to this final confrontation with Aku was just fairly quick. And I mean fairly, fairly quick, you know. And I do know that, you know, this series, uh, season is only 10 episodes, which kind of sucks. And I would like to get more. However, at the same time, I doubt that we're going to get, you know, another season, you know, anytime soon. And probably not even forever. Because, I mean, the uh, studio themselves actually stated that this will be the last season of Samurai Jack. So, there is that. But, you know, shout out to whoever animated the part of, <laughs> of uh, I forget his name, the robot guy, I don't, I don't know his name, oh my god, I'm probably gonna get like a really earful from everybody on saying his name, but anyway, <laughs> when it came down to the moment in which he gets to Aku's place and tells him that Samurai Jack has no longer any possession of the sword and Aku and the you know the robot end up going out and search for him and finally end up seeing Jack and are like ha, ha, ha. serves you right Jack looks like you can't touch us now you no longer have the weapon to take down Aku you no longer have your sword and whatnot Jack fucking pulls this sword out and <laughs> Aku sees this shit, freaking looks at the robot, and you can tell that, you know, he was thinking, like, what the fuck, you just told me that, you know, <laughs> he no longer had the sword. He freaking va vaporizes this dude, like, I, I, I laughed, I laughed at that part, like, I was, I was dying, like, it, it was, it was funny as fuck, it was funny, just on how that whole scene was executed, I loved it, 10 out of 10 part of the episode, right there but yeah 
like Jack has finally found love for Ashi, you know, and it, it was in the beginning of this episode it was quite awkward actually seeing the two you like how they were interacting with each other now you know compared to how they used to you know it was very very awkward and very corny and that's like technically what we saw in last week's episode as well but it wasn't you know a problem it, it was just very awkward in terms of how the interaction was going down but you know Jack lost his home, lost his mother, lost his father, you know, from Aku, and now someone who he cares about, who was actually related to Aku, and he lost his mother and father and village from Aku, and he doesn't want another thing that he actually cares for to end up, you know, no longer being in his possession. He doesn't want it to just evaporate like his mother, father, and the village did, you know, back, you know, when the series began. So, Jack has to come up with an ultimate decision as to what to do. Um, like, it, definitely next episode is going to be pretty hype, though. I will say that because most likely that's when we're going to see all of the other characters from, you know, uh, from the series of Samurai Jack, like the Scotsman and whatnot. They're most likely going to come into play at the very, you know, ending of the episode to take on Aku and also Ashi. W along with Jack, you know, because in the state that Jack is in now, he cannot do this by himself. So, very good episode of Samurai Jack. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as to what you thought about this episode. What did you think about Ashi actually being a true daughter of Aku? How do you think the series will end? Um, did you like this episode? Did you think it was rushed? Just, I don't know. Let me know your overall thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like to see another season of Samurai Jack? Just how do you think this is going to be concluded? Just let me know your thoughts. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and hit that red subscribe button if you want to stay updated to my future content and never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.